All right, well, let's get to it. I probably won't be finishing up colonization before the month is out, but whatever. I'll make a few episodes eventually in January at some point to finish it out. Let's see here, we're at 1690. Alright, so, basically at this point... I really need to get a lot of guns at this point, really, to sort of win the game. But I am doing pretty well at getting, you know, prepared. So, basically to sort of give you an idea of what's going to go on here. I need to have like ample defenses down here in like the south where essentially I'm not going to be able to defend these colonies very well from attack. Basically they'll, they'll get hammered by attacks and they'll have to like, you know, probably recapture those towns eventually. Basically I need to have like a, a fairly strong army. That's why I'm getting all these veteran soldiers up here trained. And we basically go from there. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to use tools for at this point. I don't think I have a whole lot, whole lot of use for tools at this point, so... Hmm. What to do with tools? You just wait for now until I know what to do with you. We're building an arsenal here, so that's fine. You can wait. I guess we don't have a whole lot of moves to do at this point. Alright, so... Go over here to Fuxopolis, we'll go pick up some tools to throw into you, I guess. You can just fortify. And we just get some booty. Cool. And cool, I got some more soldiers popping out. Alright, so, Rebel Sun is rising your colonists and your colonies, Your Excellency. 100% of the population supports the idea of independence from the Netherlands. Some of the Falling Fires think we should request an audience of the King and declare our independence. And I think it's gonna make this guy explore here a little bit. Alright, you get to go to Amsterdam to drop off in tools, I think. And these guys. What am I doing with these guys again? Really at this point I have to get some of my like, you know my gunsmiths in all these other places here. I guess these guys are going here. Yeah, you build a road right there since you can. Um, you can go up there to build a road. Alright, it's got a bunch of soldiers here, that's nice. They'll be turning to regular uh, civilians in a moment. Actually, I'll do it right now so I can get the guns, I think. Colonist. Colonist. Oh, 
Let's turn this guy into a uh, uh, soldier, I guess. He can be a dragoon. And you can be a scout until I move you somewhere with uh, weapons. I think he's going to train some uh, of these like gunsmiths into like, you know, some of my guys into gunsmiths so I can make guns. That's something I could do. And I want to do. I have to know I have a bunch of regular dragoons here that aren't trained yet. Probably should keep that in mind, but whatever. Uh, move this guy to the front. I'm actually going to train, make this guy. Call this, I think. Which will allow me to make this guy into a dragoon. There. That makes more sense doing it like that, I think. And this guy, the soldier, I'll move him to another place where he can like pick up some stuff. Yeah, I was gonna like move these guys, these uh, gunsmiths, to like, you know... Or I was gonna like, make and train people. I think what we're gonna do instead, we're just gonna buy gunsmiths and have them just come over instead. That probably makes more sense. I got two soldiers here, apparently. Yeah, I really want to get more veteran soldiers, I think, so we'll keep doing that for now. And let's have these guys go here. And let's pop out a bunch of guns with them. Not sure we're going to do these pilgrims anymore, but whatever, they can do some stuff. That's the manly move that guy, I guess. Now I'm just going to check around here and see where I got horses. So basically I'll note to this point, I'm really getting to the playing stages and what I really want to do. Natives are attacking over there. Basically what I'm thinking, I have like, like, you know, lots of like, you know, soldiers on the way, so to speak, and lots of like free columns that can at least fight if I want them to. So what I really should be doing is just getting more gunsmiths bring a lot of guns over, or make guns here, basically. I was first I get some gunsmiths popping out over here, but whatever. I guess that's fine, I can get more tools over here for now. Excellent, we got more guns over here. Uh... Making 48 discs, I need to have. I think we'll have, like, you know, enough tools if I wait a little bit, so let's just do that for now, I think, with the tools. These officers are still making tools, that's fine. They can make all the tools they want.
Oh, we found ourselves a Spanish privateer up here. Alright, this guy's arrived. Let's have you go over here. These guys will get to work making the, uh, you know, muskets over here. Now I want to know something by the way. These guys are only making like 48 muskets over here. So basically at this point they're going to like chew through a lot of tools that are over here at this point. Which is fine. That's pretty much okay. Give me a soldier. I'm thinking that by the end of this episode, we should have, like, you know, enough, like, getting out of the way for me to basically, like, you know, form an army for stuff. Uh, you go this way. Actually, you know what? You're gonna go up there in a moment. These guys arrived. Unload all this stuff. Awesome. Not gonna make a whole lot of money on tools, by the way, but whatever. At this point, we're gonna purchase ourselves a whole lot of um, master gunsmiths. Or at least two of them. Excellent. We're making lots of guns now over here, so I'll be able to train up lots of troops. Ah, there we go. I knew there was land probably up here or something, so let's go explore. There's basically Aztecs up here. Good old Aztecs. How about you pick up some tools over here? You know, think about... I should have, like, these guys start heading over to, um... Pick up guns. I don't really need to recruit people at this point, so... Anyone who's basically in a church, I'll basically send out. To go pick up a gun somewhere. You know what? I don't have any horses down here, apparently. Interesting. Grab those there. Oh, that's done. Okay, you guys get to go... Here. Now I'm going to just got to go here and get some horses because I only have one veteran dragoon over here. That'll be done over there. That'll be guard basically. This guy I'm going to set up in this direction I think. So I'll go over here if you can. Let's have that just wait right there for now, I think.
Cool, more tools. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get the enough tools for like, you know, this thing in the next turn, but whatever. That's enough tools to basically sail off and get some money with. So go off of these. Now there's like an Aztec city there, it's like one probably one of the last places for the Aztecs. Since they're up here in the core of a map where no one knows them. All right, Pilgrim. You know, I'm tempted to get rid of this Pilgrim and turn him into a regular like columnist at this point. So maybe we'll do that. You go up there. Build row right there. You go right there. Excellent. This guy's arrived, so we'll turn him into a regular dragoon. Alright, this guy I'm going to turn to uh, a scout. This guy too. Uh, I think it'll be fa faster to move away like that if I do that, so we'll do that. You can be a scout. And you can just move on your own, I guess. Turn these guys into scouts. Think about it, I'm gonna get this guy to go over here and pick up some horses. And we're just gonna try and drive the horses over to that, you know, spot doesn't have any at the moment. Blah blah, blah. England's getting their independence slowly. So I want to note that I think this will be the last episode before I actually do get into like the real independence battle. That's yeah, done. Oh, we got two of our muskets over here. That's cool. Um, you guys can produce artillery if you can. Might as well. Pixel Land apparently has 200 horses, so that's fine. Usopolis, that's fine. Yeah, there's basically a couple of Aztec towns that are basically hidden up here. Sometimes that'll happen, you have like, you know, a bunch of like Aztecs that are just out in the middle of nowhere. Or like, you know, names basically. Granadad's over here, interestingly enough. Alright, these guys have come, so let's have these guys go over here. You're gonna pick up some guns and horses and stuff. And ah, you know what, just go up to fix this hold. You get down over here. There we go, now Dragoon. And our Dragoon.
More Dragoons! Wait. It doesn't take that many turns to produce uh, guns when you have arsenals and a bunch of, like, you know, gunsmiths in them. So it shouldn't be, you know, too long doing this stuff. Okay, you're just going to become a scout. You're just going to make your way over here. There. Might as well build a road right here. Alright, this guy's arrived. Let's drop off a bunch of more tools. You know, I, I kind of regret getting this missionary here because I can't really do anything with him. But whatever. Let's train up another massive gun gunsmith. And he's sailed back. These little trees are artillery, that's fine. You can do stuff with artillery. Ooh, we, sponge, we sunk a ship. That doesn't usually happen. I sunk the Spanish Galleon. Nope, stay with ships. Alright, well... Really, at this point, I think we're more or less done, but whatever. Try and build some more roads of those guys, I guess. You can become a Dragoon, or no, let's become a Soldier. Lack of forces here. We're going to create this guy specially. I don't really need higher Pioneers anymore, so he can just become a regular citizen. You build roads right there. You can wait. This guy can become a regular soldier. Or Dragoon, rather. Wait. These guys can go over here and produce some guns. And think about it. We'll save some time and have you produce some guns, too. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna make these guys wait with the space bar. I want this guy to go over here. That was terrible. He should be ashamed of himself. I might send this guy up to fix the town, so let's go up this way then. I hate AI pathing at this point, but whatever. You know what? Become a scout. Make use of those horses that are here. I'll have this guy go to port to do one last sell, I guess, maybe, of... Um, tools, maybe?
That may be something to do. Nah, you know what? We're gonna keep some tools on hand just for a hell of it. How my ship come back at this point? Basically, at this point, um, I don't want to be sending ships out to Europe because I'm gonna be declaring independence soon. When you declare independence, the European theater is no longer like useful to you, and like you know, you're basically just gonna be like you know, get attacked by Europe instead. So that'll be happening. Oh cool, we got sugar over here. That's nice. Excellent, soldiers! I'm just gonna avoid that frigate for now. No point, you know, going after him. Alright, this person is not too useful. Let's let him sit in there for now, I guess. You go right there, I guess. You go right here. You become a soldier. You can wait, 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 wait. I still want this guy to come here so I can get some damn horses, so go in there. Let's turn yourself into a regular colonist. Now horses will be produced here. Oops, I meant to fortify that soldier. I know, I'll just make him a dragoon. Wait. Fortify. You can wait there. You can turn to a scout. Ah, oh, frigates over there. <clears throat> All right, here's my merchantman here. Let's have you go like this. Drop in there. Alright, gotta get more guys over here to do stuff, so... Uh, soldier. Get this guy a soldier. Sorry, a soldier. This is one of the bad things about having a whole lot of, like, things in here. It makes it really hard to select stuff. There we go. Soldier! You can wait. Uh, four or five. Well, you guys dropped off your horses, that's great, so let's go up and, uh...
going to hold. You become a dragoon for now since you got guns to pick up. Oops. Didn't do that right. I could go s try and sink the Spanish chest with a privateer, but I'd rather go attack some of a cargo in it instead. Now I just have fought, but you know what I really should do at this point? Let's clear this guy's orders. You build roads, you build roads. You get up there. These guys can all turn into soldiers up here, I guess, so do that. Well, Aztecs is racing our, uh, or Spanish is racing our Aztec city up over there. Probably one down near Trinidad. Fixieville has tools, so let's try and pick up some, I guess. We just got this guy, he'll. You know, not really help that much, but whatever. Don't care about him. That's not really useful because I already see the entire map. I guess that's okay. It doesn't really help me much, so I'm going to be losing it anyways. Are you jumping here? I just fought something, but I have soldiers here I never took out, so. A scout. A scout. And a scout, if you may please. There's guns over there, but there's also guns here, so become a dragoon. Become a scout. You can become a scout. You make guns. I think I bought it. Complete that so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And if you can get down here, let's get you down here and get yourself a Dragoon... Ah, oh, whatever. Get over there. Now what I'm going to do with this guy, I'm going to make him go into the trade room over here. Uh, fixing cotton tra transfer. Go to... Just his lookout, I guess. The reason I'm going to do that with that ship is so I can free up the frigate for attacking uh, the eventual ships that will be attacking me. Because there will be ships to, you know, ferry stuff from in Europe over here. You're done. Let's drop that off. Clear orders, or fortify rider. You up there. You go there, I guess. Burger Dragoon. Alright, these guys. 
Let's make them go... Ah, I was hoping to get them a little bit closer to the village there, but whatever. Hmm, I see ships. Whoop! We don't have enough tools over here, apparently. That happened. Just go like that, I guess. At this point, these tools aren't really all that useful for me, but whatever. I have them. Go up there, I guess. I get room right there. You can wait. I'm right, I was gonna make you move down this direction. You could probably still do that, but. This guy can be on your goon. I really need that guy to come to Groon, so we'll make this guy just turn to a regular colonist. And this guy can go into Groon. Let's see here. You can turn to a scout. Now note that at this point, I think I might declare independence. And you can see what that's all about in the next episode. There we go, my arsenal is built. Build artillery. Let's see here, I want you to... Heck, I don't know where I want this guy to go. Down here, I think, because I got so many, uh, like, you know, tools being amassed down here.
There we go. Privateers near my waters. I might get these, like, wagon trains to go up. So, like, you know, these are places where I have, like, you know, tools being, like, you know, used and stuff. I have, like, so I go over to the food shop list if possible. Go there, I guess. All right, it's done. You don't really need to do anything with like that guy, but whatever. I felt like doing it just for the hell of it. go up there I guess make these guys just wait there whoops they mean to fortify as that colonists Well, he's a farmer now, that colonist. You get there. You can turn to a scout. Blah, blah, England says hi. Never. Never. Go in peace. Alright, I'm thinking that at the end of next term we're just going to save, and then next episode we'll see me basically do the Declaration of Independence, and let's go from there. And hopefully I'll win in the next episode, so that'll be done. Spanish say hi, Spanish go bye. Guess the pinky ring, not that's gonna matter. Alright, not sure what to do with this uh, wagon here, but, um... I think you're doing a sugar runner. Yeah, you're going to Fuchsia Town, so... That's done. We'll just have to stop that for now, I guess. Hey, this guy arrived. Go make food, I guess. Turn this guy into a dragoon over here. this guy.
Dragoon. You have to go to Fixer Stand to get some horses, I guess. Make your way up here, I guess. There we go. Now our Dragoon. And yeah, this is a good episode, you know, and end part for this episode, I think. Basically, this guy will become a Dragoon in here in a moment. And the next turn, we'll basically get to, like, you know, declare independence, and we'll just basically have a huge army base to do stuff with. Actually, let's uh, do a quick look here. So basically, look at my, ar my standing army right now. Um... Probably should look through here, I think. Colony advisor? Yeah, so basically this is what my army looks like right now. I have a bunch of cannons in all my different places. The Saturn ones basically have like, you know, four each, and then Fuse Town is three. Everywhere one has one. I have tons and tons and tons of like, you know, veteran uh, Dragoons, as well as quite a few um, regular Dragoons. And I got a scout over in my capital, which will be turned to, uh, you know, uh, Dragoon in a moment as well. If I look at the Foreign um, Affairs Advisor, no, it's not it. One of these advisors basically gets me like an overview of, um... yeah, this one. Here's what basically the Duck Jackson Ray forces are going to look like. These guys are going to attack me like next turn. So I'll have 49 infantry, 17 cavalry, and 14 cans from like the home country come to destroy me. So basically, this is what you're up against when you're basically defending yourself. You'll have to basically like you know defend against like a lot of forces coming at you. So you have the like, quite a few advantages that you'll be, be able to make um, use of, too. But that'll be for next time. We're just going to save it for now. And we'll finish it off in the next episode, I think. Perhaps. We'll see.